fellas, don't drink that coffee. You'd never guess. There was a fish in the percolator. Sorry. Hey, everybody. It is now 2015, and welcome back to Fish in the Percolator. Told you we weren't going anywhere. That's right. We're here. Like promised, damn it all. Indeed. It's episode 17. We are watching season 2, episode 9, Arbitrary Law. Arbitrary... That is a hard thing to say. Arbitrary law. Better than I would have said it. It's better than I would have pronounced it. (laughs) Nailed it. (laughs) At any rate, uh, yeah, if you're watching with us on uh, Netflix, just make sure you're not including the Log Lady intro from the Blu-ray. Or also the previously on Twin Peaks part. Yeah. Yeah. Watch it like you're watching it on Netflix. Yes. Start at zero, zero. We're going to start at the little bird in three, two, one, play. Looking at a bird. Birdie, birdie. The bird is now a smokestack. Do, do, do. Man, it's been a while. It maybe has. we should. Maybe we should have done a previously on. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, Leland dumped the body. That's what happened last week. Okay. Yeah, Leland dumped the body poorly. That was the last thing yeah. they discovered. Maddie's body. Maddie's dead. And in the river, once again, wrapped in plastic. Because Leland is just fucking with the police at this point. No, she's dead! (laughs) So I've had uh, a couple of um, people follow me on Twitter after this show. Oh, yeah? So that was pretty cool. And I've gotten some of my actual real-life friends to start watching the show for the first time. Nice. I'm working on my real life friends, but I've I've been doing this uh, obsessive zealot thing for so long that uh, <laughs> pretty much anyone I know in real life has already written me off as a lunatic. <laughs> you didn't get any converts, huh? They no, no converts. <laughs> well, you got me, Meanie. You Thank got you. Me. Granted, you already had a good head start having seen the first season, but <laughs> even my you- oh. By the way, Piper Laurie is uh, listed as Tojimura again, so maybe we'll get one Ooh, more shot. Ooh, yay, my favorite character returning. Hey, it's Laura Palmer. I mean, her cousin. Meanwhile, in the hero walk. I thought you said Albert wasn't coming back. All I never right. I said that. I said he might be back. Welcome back, Albert. You're so much better than the other guy. <sighs> That's fair, though. Yeah. I can't fight that, even though I love uh, Gordon (laughs) Cole. He's so bad, dude. That character is bad. He's real good, and you better start liking him because he becomes a way bigger part. Of course he does. I'm going to write myself into more of the show now. (sighs) Fuck, Lynch. You know, uh, Douglas Pines. My my wife got me a uh, a David Lynch book for Christmas. Oh, about his uh, enjoyment of transcendental meditation. Oh, of course <laughs> you fun. did. I thought you'd appreciate that. Is that before or after the corpse party he holds? Uh, it's probably. Oh, hang on. Let's shut up while Albert talks. Man, that is the look of cops that done fucked up. God, I love Albert so goddamn much. <laughs> I just love how the whole Federal Bureau is just totally on board. Yeah, yeah Coop's a psychic. Thank you for the Indian wisdom there. What do you think, Hawk? Dude, anything you want to do, man, I'm in. I got the peyote, Coop. You want to have a party? Let's do this thing. Coop, whenever you're done with your silliness, I'm here for real police work. I'm, <laughs> I'm the Hawk. Poor Hawk. I mean, really, poor Hawk.
So nobody knows Maddie's dead yet. No, nobody. Well, except all those people at the crime scene. But yeah, nobody yeah. Uh, in the case. Everybody just cried again like at the beginning of the show for like apparently, we know she's dead, but not. You just said you have really big hands, lady. No, not really. Mm. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a thing. Yeah. Well. Or at least neutral. <laughs> well, maybe Norma's cooking is just really that bad. The town is obsessed with it. Yeah, you know, that's right. But that's her pie, not her omelets. That's a fair point. Yeah, I mean, maybe she's really good at pie and just shit at everything else. But you're right, though. In TV world, it's just mom being a bitch. Maybe you should have been specific as to what omelet you want instead of getting the fucking, you know, lumberjack special. Uni, ugh. Andy, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, God, look at this picture. <laughs> You're a cop, you bastard! There's your buddy. <laughs> Do you know her? You were supposed to be feeding her and stopped, like, after one day. <laughs> She's clearly dead in that house. You know, even though you just asked me five times. I just repeated to myself constantly. He's gotten dumber as the seasons go on. Oh, yeah, he is by far stupider than he was. He's eating more and more paint chips, like, off screen every episode. Oh, finally, we're going to get to something at least with this. Oh, what the flying fuck is going on now? Okay. So I was going to just, like, toot my own horn and say, I was right, demons. But then again, two episodes ago was, yeah, you were right, demons. So... You're the one that starved my sister. <laughs> Seriously. But I didn't feel like it. <laughs> like, Sarah, shouldn't she have been giving food to that old lady every time? Like... Eh. And, uh, yeah, they're they're already not arresting you, so I mean, come on. Oh, do do you want? It's pretty long. Do you just yeah, want to read? Seriously, it? it's two pages. Ah, damn it! Yay!
Okay. He wanted to use Laura as a vessel. Shut up, Andy. <laughs> what are you, the master of logic now? Go away, yeah, don't shit. Dummy. Have you seen the fucked up shit in this town, Andy? <laughs> Why don't you go back to the diner and recite evidence for the crowd? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking A. Fantastic. Meanwhile. Well, why don't you? Or you could give him an IV, you know, if he's completely dehydrated. I thought it was her cousin. Except he totally set him up last time. Not necessarily. Well, he definitely didn't help prevent the death of Maddie. No, that's fair. <laughs> he totally let that happen. I mean... I mean, Coop's pretty good at following cryptic direction... And that's exactly what he did, and it left him, like, miles away from the murder. All right, Doc, he seems to be okay. Why don't you shoot him full of that drug we still know nothing about, since he's totally dehydrated. Where's the giant? Come on, I got a bus to Six Flags you can get on. <laughs> Damn, if only all the households didn't have one of these. Come on, Coop, put it together. It ain't making sense. Are you setting something up for later? <laughs> yeah, seriously. We just walk back and forth across the street holding this large pane of glass. <laughs> Shameful man. <laughs> you call yourself a man, and you dare wear that iron badge. <laughs> the light in store has nothing but disdain for Andy now. <laughs> well, you know, that makes him equal with everyone else in the town. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. 
Just shoot him. He shoots him right in the face. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good shot, believe it or not. And he's the second murderer. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, dude. If the show had any balls, I thought this I thought he was gonna be a killer. Like, nah, he would have been the reveal and that would have been Oh Hey What a taunting bitch. Konnichiwa. <laughs> they let you in with no ID. Oh, dude, Andy was at the fucking podium. I mean, it was pretty easy. I'm also pretty sure any contract signed while incarcerated is null and void. I'm also going to go ahead and throw out. I love that the police just let this <laughs> obviously costumed person. <laughs> With no actual identification at all. Yeah, nothing. Like, who are you? Well, and by, by, their, by their own admittance, a foreign, you know, business conglomerate of said inmates. Like, yeah, kind of weird. Oh, you melodramatic bitch. Well, Ben, maybe if you didn't try to hurry up out. Oh, gross. I can't help but feel that this was another one of Lynch's, like, wank scenes that he wanted. I don't know about that. I, I do know that. that I love that That even though he's in the begging mode right now, you have uh, to admit he had an immediate look at his face of, God damn it, well played. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, he's, I mean, at least he's a champ. He can admit when he's been played. You know, still, Catherine, kind of shitty, you know. You uh, still lost the $5 million, but... That's pretty cold even for you, Catherine. So we took out an insurance policy. Why are you rubbing down the bars? They could do a fucking finger check on it. You can get your hands off my breasts, but uh, yeah, sure. Why is she wearing Laura's sunglasses again? I think those are just her sunglasses. Oh. She lied. Because she's dead. <laughs> I'll mail it to her cold, cold grave. I'll toss it over the side of the bridge like I did to her. Oh, I guess they are Laura's glass. Yeah. Yeah. Good eye, Matt. 
Well, the show the show isn't going to not recycle its bits over and over again. I actually thought the clothing thing didn't make another appearance until the movie, which goes uh-huh. into it. Ah, tits. No. I thought the only thing you feared was Mike, Bob. Is that flop sweat dripping down that gigantic forehead of yours? My God, that guy that nobody knew about. Yeah. Dude, his character has changed five times in this show. He's... A chameleon of wonder. <laughs> like he's begging to be caught. Just begging for it. Well, I didn't kill anyone. No, I don't think that's a weird way to answer the phone. Hello. <laughs> All right. Come on, just have like Bob like do a little peekaboo across the fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't drink the lemonade, Donna. Oh, what a reveal for the 90th time. <laughs> do I have to do the teeth thing? Yeah, you're you're yeah. mirroring uh, what Leland's doing. You have to. Ray, <laughs> could you tone down the teeth thing? It looks a little ridiculous on anyone but you. <laughs> Even the psycho demon the killer. Psycho looks a gets weird. to look a little silly. <laughs> Fuck it. Danny Trejo Jr. is looking a little freaky here. That's not lemonade. Sorry, all I had was tang and arsenic. All right, enough with the hands. Yeah. Mr. Palmer, don't take this the wrong way, but do you have an evil demon living inside your being? I only say that because every time I look at you, I cry bloody tears. Little slits on my hands and feet open up and bleed profusely. You know, the usual. Just the thing. Oh, God, here we go. Why do I come over here? I should just make phone calls. She is dealing with the fact that she was talking to an old lady and her demon baby way too well right now. (laughs) Bob just looks like he has to shit. He is a bit intense. Bob, Bob, Bob needs to dial it back a few. Just you got Ray Wise doing a really good creep impression right now. I say impression lightly, and uh, you know you, you got Bob who's supposed to be the big bad, and yeah, he just looks like a roadie who needs a hit. Well, he basically is. I know, but <laughs> like the sh- you watching the show are not supposed to know that. I mean. You're not supposed to know that Bob is actually not an actor and is like just a stagehand, but uh, mm. Mm. God, you smell good. That was way too tense of a boner you just rubbed on me there, pops. Why? You're like 27. You should know how to handle yourself right now. 38-year-old woman. Yeah. Just graduated high school. Get out of there. He's awaiting trial for murder himself. (laughs) 
Bob not even pretending? Yeah, the cops need a lawyer to talk about a murder all the time. Meanwhile... <laughs> Come with me if you want to be really, really ridiculously good looking. <laughs> nice, nice shocked face, Zoolander. Oh, okay. We'll never have another gasoline fight again. No, seriously, how, Zoolander? How? None of you knew who the killer was. Wow, if ever there was a lame excuse to back out of a fucking, uh, out of a proposal, this is it. Yeah, people just gotta keep getting murdered. No, please leave, James. Just drive on off into the sunset and never, ever fucking come back on this show. Got bad news for you. You really wish you would have stayed. I know. <laughs> this is I, actually the worst I case know, scenario. I, I know. I know. I've been warned. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, a man lonely... <laughs> Eating fucking nuts. Is, is this the bar or is this the courthouse? Can it be both? Well, which is it tonight? Can it be both? Oh, God. No, we've discussed this, that even though, yes, it can, it's really not supposed to be. Wow, this is super illegal. Good question. Is it me? Seems like you're implying it's me. Yeah. That's right, Coop. See through it. Bring that one armed fucker in. We're going to sniff him out. Oh, you picked a hell of a night to do this, Coop. Why is Leo here? He could potentially have been the killer, remember? No. You touch me again, I swear to God you'll pull back a stump. I, I will scalp you so fucking quick, you terrible fucking asshole of a child. I waited a while for this, huh, Coop? I thought you said 24 hours. It's Albert. <laughs> wow, I don't think that came out the way you wanted to, Coop. Nice touch. Way to go, Ben. Cut. Oh, are they friends now? It's the <laughs> ghost of Christmas past. Oh, I'm the old man. Major Briggs, I knew you'd save the day. Oh, I see my disappointing son is here. Great. <laughs> All right, the giant will be here momentarily.
Yay! 18 episodes later! Let's all remember that. Yeah, let's freeze frame! Remember, guys? Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, this is so ham fisted right now. It's great, though. Ah. <laughs> uh, all it took was some gum, huh, Coop? Oh, no one's even here. Wait, there he is. Want that gum, son? It's really good gum. Take it! One ring to rule them all. You still gotta need evidence, though, Coop. Like, you're still going to need evidence. We, you know, we went for like a malevolent deity. You're falling for shit pretty bad here. No, I have to go get a sandwich now. So, what the hell am I doing here? Yeah. This is what you do with your time now, huh, son? No shoes. <laughs> oh, the best. Oh, it's fucking funny as shit. Meanwhile, the Briggs are just looking at each other like, wow, we thought we were weird. I've always loved you. You know that? I want to be deep inside. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Beginning the pre victory, uh, the post victory uh, celebration a little early, aren't we, Coop? Can't help it. He's got such a sad puppy dog face, that sheriff of ours. Shut up, you demon. Yes! Switcherood! Ben, sorry to string along like that. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't bang against that press board wall anymore. You no know, shit. The first smart thing the sheriff said ever. Get hawk like a boss. Wow. Damn it, Ray. You you pull off Psycho pretty well. Yeah. Give me the mirror. Mirror! <laughs> yup. Oh, damn, son. I'll just come in right out with it, huh? Wow, that's pretty devious. That got darker than I thought this show would get. Hulk, why'd you put the gun away? 
Yeah, seriously. Because he's subliminally like talking to Hawk, showing him all his fears. I like how nobody wants to actually help Leland, but let's just try to persecute Bob. Fully acknowledging that Bob and Leland are not one and the Coop. same in that sentence. Coop, if we're done here, uh, I want to not go for early and go pistol whip Bobby uh, yes. for giving me some <laughs> lip. <laughs> uh, who put the dick back in the show? Oh, God. Mm, quite. <laughs> this guy doesn't like pussy. Who are we kidding? See the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> we have to kill the Batman. <laughs> oh, God. Is this going to be like a King Sullivan split the baby thing? Foreshadowing coming to completion. Do you get it, you stupid viewers? You should have known it all along. But who shot you, Coop? Oh. <laughs> He's drunk again. Kind of roped in that last verse, didn't you? There, yeah, it's not really the same amount of still. He's a killer, uh, guys. Let him have it. <laughs> he is. I mean, demon or not, he's quite a psychopath. No, not water. His one strength. Why are they opening the door? They can't. They're trying to open the door to because uh, he's trying to kill himself. Damn, Leland. Ah. Whoa, man. Let it go. 
And she was so busy, what with her 17 jobs. You know, my brain's kind of being pierced by pieces of shattered skull right now, Coop. Kind of hard to follow you. She's very disappointed with what I tried to do to her. I'll clear it up really quick. <laughs> Whoa. Major Briggs, you're standing ominously. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Want to tell me what I was... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was just stepping away to fart from the uh, crowd for a moment, <laughs> but now you've come upon me here. <laughs> Anyone want to explain what I was doing with that old man at 3 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> so I've got some questions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so fucking cool, Major Briggs. If they would have given Major Briggs the log lady's role, I think it would have been better served. That's interesting. Oh, geez, really? No, what does that even mean? But you'll see. I don't know. It seems like every time he walks away, he should, like, disappear into, like, the air. <laughs> He's like Leonard Nimoy on The Simpsons. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the cosmic ballet goes on. <laughs> yeah, like, look, it just disappears into the background. <laughs> Lives on it Sorry. Oh, 
I'm a big Iron Maiden fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, you forgot. I'm talking about the time I almost died. The Evil Dead. Yeah, seriously. But <laughs> Bob took shrooms again. Ah, fuck. Me. <laughs> it was me all along. No one ever suspects the butterfly. So is that what you meant by the dog in fucking uh, that video game? I don't know. What What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, oh, Deadly Premonition? Yeah, yes. Kind of. Okay. But at any rate, yeah. well, that wraps up another commentary episode of the show. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, you can check us out on purefillway.com or on iTunes or wherever you can get podcasts uh, for the Fish in the Percolator discussion cast. Mm-hmm. So please join us, and uh, welcome to 2015, folks. It's been fun. Indeed. See you on the other podcast. <laughs>